Hey guys, so in this video I'm describing how traction control systems work and uh, what they're intended for. Basically its main objective or purpose is to prevent wheel slippage under acceleration or as I like to describe it is that it basically prevents you from doing a burnout. Burnouts are definitely fun to do and a lot of people like doing it but during the racing world, you don't want to do a burnout, especially in a drag race. You want to do the burnout at first to warm up your tires, but after you're ready to go and you're out there on the track racing, if you're burning your tires out, you're just sitting there and you're not getting any traction and you're not going anywhere. So traction control essentially prevents that from happening. It prevents wheel slippage under hard acceleration. It prevents you from doing that burnout so you can get traction and take off quicker. It's uh, pretty simple on how it works. It doesn't really have much parts of its own that works just for itself. Uh, pretty much what it does is under hard acceleration and your wheels are burning out, it activates the uh, ABS module control. So if you're not sure how ABS works, I'd recommend watching my ABS video that I'll post a link in the description. And pretty much it just applies your brakes at the wheels and prevents them from slipping. It reduces that power you're giving it because you're giving it too much power. You need to reduce that power. So it does that by applying the uh, brake system, the ABS brake system. And if that doesn't work, it can also work by limiting your power that you're putting in the engine. Especially cars nowadays, you have no direct linkage to your gas, from your gas pedal to your engine. It's, your pedal is just a sensor and the ECU opens the throttle for you so it can easily easily uh, govern that and prevent you from opening it. So again it, it works by using the ABS system or using uh, mon uh, limiting you to how much you're opening the throttle and that's pretty much it. Uh, it works off of a few sensors so this is your ECU and it gets sensor input and uses that to calculate how much to limit you and what to do uh, some of the sensors that it can work off of is your throttle position sensor, so it knows how far you're opening the throttle, especially if it's wide open. And it also monitors your engine RPM that it can get from the crankshaft position sensor that uh, monitors your RPM and how fast your engine is spinning. And of course, most importantly, the wheel speed sensors. So if it senses that your front two wheels are at zero and your rear ones are at uh, essentially you know 50 miles an hour however fast they're going when you're burning out it's gonna know that you're doing exactly that you're not getting traction at your rear wheels and you need that traction so it'll limit it and give you traction so you can take off quicker and uh, that's pretty much it on how traction control works thanks for watching